What a beautiful day! How I love the sweet smell of the air, this peaceful setting, and, uh, ooh, these delicious-looking grapes! Of all the food that I have enjoyed, grapes are my favorite. Oh, yes, foxes like myself are known to steal chickens from the coop, eggs from the nest, and, uh, well, anything else we can get our paws on. But I like grapes. I think I'll have some. plump, so purple, so round. I can't wait. Ooh, I didn't think they were quite so high. I'll try again. Hmm, that's surprising. I should have been able to nab them that time. I'll get a running start. I beg your pardon. Oops, sorry. Just uh, trying to get those grapes. Hmm. Well, you'll never make it. Don't waste your time. Says who? Says me. I can tell. They're way too high. Ha! Huh, a lot you know. Grapes like these are worth the effort. I warned you. Why don't you just look around for some worms, like me? It's a lot less trouble. I told you that I want those grapes, not dirty, slimy worms in the ground. Okay, okay. Don't lose your temper. It isn't my fault you can't get those grapes. Well, it isn't. I'll get them all right, and when I do, you can watch me enjoy each and every one. Ooh, these grapes must be awfully sweet, because they are so high up on the vine. No, I think they're just high up on the vine. Oh, leave me alone. Whoa, I'm wearing myself out. This isn't fair. Oh, you nasty grapes, just look what I've done. I hurt myself, and it's all your fault. Oh, I never should have tried to get you in the first place. Anyway, there are far more delicious fruits than you. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go out and uh, find some berries, or maybe a pear. Hm, you're probably too ripe and sour anyway. I hope you spoil and fall to the ground. And I hope you paid attention, Mr. Crow. There's a lesson to be learned here. Hmm. There certainly is. I'd say, someone who wants something that's way out of reach sometimes comes down with a case of sour grapes. Thank you.